Okay, so our repo sync is complete and now it's time to start building. So of course you need all your vendor files and, and um, whatnot added to your build. Be sure that you download those places like the Muppets is a great place on GitHub to get those. Uh, if you need more help with that, be sure to check out my previous videos for Lollipop. But you do have to have those, those binaries. So if we run this script, build-pack.shell, we can scroll back up and look over it here. This is what you get. So this custom ROM comes with its own custom build script. And notice that there's options. So you type this build-pack.shell, you type whatever options you want, and then you type which device you want to build. So you can uh, um, use like the A to disable ADB authentication and set root access to apps and ADB. Uh, you can do some cleaning options. You can um, build just the boot image or the recovery image or do a uh, normal sync before the build tons of options that are available in here. Um, you're welcome to look through this and uh, and really get familiar with it. Not every custom ROM has its own custom build script, but there are several that do. Um, Liquid Smooth was a big one for having that. Pack ROM is a big one for having that and several others. So just be aware that the normal tools for building will still work here, but they do have a specialized tool just for this purpose. Let's take a look here. So if we go in that vendor and in the pack folder, of course that vendor setup uh, dot shell file, going to build, taking just a minute to load up here. But it's, it's actually going to start running these uh, running through special commands, special make files before doing the, uh, the regular commands that you've seen. So now if we type breakfast or we type lunch, of course it doesn't work because we haven't done what? We haven't done our uh, dot space build forward slash environment setup dot shell. So we do that. And now we can type breakfast, now we can type lunch, but notice that the list is empty. So they expect you to actually use their um, custom script, but you can use the traditional way of building. You just have to make sure that you um, specify exactly what it is you wanna build. So we're gonna build for the JFL TE TMO, the Samsung Galaxy S4 uh, T-Mobile version. And notice that it's checking to see if the repositories exist. It didn't find them in the local manifest, so it's gonna write them to the local manifest, just like we saw in SlimROM. Uh, and then now it's gonna start downloading that material. So again, I don't wanna hash over this too much because we talked about it in SlimROM. You can definitely go back and check out those Lollipop videos to see, see that. But here we go, if we go to the Pac-Man, uh, Pac-ROM, using PacRom, not Pacman, PacRom GitHub, and we type in like the JFLTE, we get nothing. They don't have it there, but it is downloading it from somewhere. And actually in a lot of cases, a lot of custom ROMs are based off of one or more of the bigger custom ROMs. So a ROM like PacRom is based off of CyanogenMod or what now is Lineage OS. So if you go through, you don't see a lot of specific um, devices and that sort of thing. They actually just pull those devices from uh, the Lineage um, OS or the CyanogenMod group. Of course, you can click on like a user, see who's in charge of these Pac-Man groups. Uh, here was one guy, um, load those up and see you know, what some things that he's been working on. Uh, you can search through the PacRom repositories, look at the users, um, you know, typical GitHub type things. If you need more help with GitHub, 
I did do a whole video series just on GitHub. So please take a look at that if you need some more help with that. See how our build is going here. Yep, it's still downloading the objects, the material for the JSLTE TMO. Uh, just while we're waiting, we'll take a look at the SciEngine mod. Uh, well, I guess uh, Lineage OS, uh, GitHub. You can also see it's actually drawing, it's got github.com split dash green is where it's getting a lot of its material from. So we can check that out as well. But uh, typically like custom ROMs will draw from somewhere like Lineage OS or Science and Mod if it's older and, uh, and draw out those uh, devices from there. And you can see like, is this has all the corresponding vice trees and we would need of course 13.0 for marshmallow. So a lot of times if you're looking for material, uh, Science and Mod is a good place to go or Lineage OS. 